So you'll see a lot more commentary here. Uh, we're going to go to exercise three now from exercise two. Um, you'll see that the green and amber are the same. The only thing that's different is the red is extended. Both reds um, have a one second overlap on either side. So the timers that would go in order, if you look at this bottom row, you'll have an eight second timer, a four second timer, a one second timer. And that just repeats eight, four, one. Up here we had eight, four, eight, four. So here you'll see my timers, excuse me, eight, four, one, eight, four, one. Um, same way when I did the stop one, I had four timers. Here they say you can do it in six, um, and then they list the time segments at the bottom. So the way we did it up here was the red was made anytime the green or amber is made. Um, these are the same times, eight and four, you'll see as up here, except the red is on for an extra one second. And you'll see both the reds are on for that extra one second. So I have this eight, this four, and this one. Um, and down at the bottom, I have the six outputs for the six lights. You'll see here's the left red. Um, both of those one second timers, if you look at the end, so this top red one, you would think that it starts right here, but it doesn't. It actually starts over here. That's what this R is over here, this one second timer. So both of these are, both red lights are on for both. There's two one second timers and both red lights are on during both of those one second timers. So that's what this is here. Um, my one second timer here is a uh, four four and this is four five. So you'll see that I put an extra rung for four five and four four down here so that this, um, so I, I wrote descriptions on all these. This parallel section energizes the left red light if the green or yellow of the right side or the overlap timers are timing. So these top ones are the green and the yellow of the right hand side, and this is the left hand red. So that's the same as what we had up here. And then I just have the two one second timers, the one after this four second and after this four second. Um, and then the green and the yellows, again, are just on there, the exact same, nothing was edited. The only thing that was edited are adding the two one second timers in there and then putting additional rungs on the red lights for those one second timers. Um, and then they say, if they're still crashing, just jack the delay up to two seconds. Um, all you have to do is change those once, if you have it set up this way and it's not more complicated than this, all you have to do is change that, that time for those one seconds to 20 because the only thing that's on during those one second timers are the red lights. So if you change this one second to a two second, that just means this red is on a little longer and this red is on a little longer um, on both sections where there's that one second. So I'll run this quick so you can see it. Maybe I will. There it is. Here's my red <clears throat> because the green's on on the right hand side. And then when the yellow is on on the right hand side, the red is still on because all those parallel rungs. And then here's my one second. Oh, that went by real quick, but yeah. So you'll see when this one goes to yellow and then red that they're both on for one second. One, there you go, and then they change again. And it'll just keep going through that way. But if it's not long enough delay because people are running lights or whatever, um, we can just change that, those one second timers. Where are we at here? Change this preset to 20 instead of 10. And depending on how complicated you made this or how you wrote it, it can be really, really hard to change the overlap time, but it's really easy if you set it out this way. And it's the same amount of rungs too. It's still just uh, um, 11, is that right? Six? No, it's more because we added two timers, but I mean, every single rung has a good purpose. It's either a timer or it's an output. It's not like there's extra rungs in here that are doing some kind of calculation or, or doing um, memory bits or anything like that. So. Every rung is either a timer or an output, so it's about the minimal, minimalist amount of uh, rungs you can have. Um, so I changed this to 20. I'm going to uh, download it to PLC, put it in run mode. So now we should have two seconds on each one of these. Let's see how long it was here. So it's still on during the green and yellow of the opposite side, and then the overlap time is just the Timers were, where are we at here? This timer here should be the first overlap. There 
per thread for two seconds. Then it goes on to the green here, which makes this red on, then this yellow, which will also make that red on, and then the overlap again when it gets back up to there. So it's the same thing. These are cascading timers. All these should be cascading timers for these traffic light exercises. So you'll see I had to change this done bit to start the first one to be based off of T44 now, because this is the last timer in the sequence now. I had to add two timers. Um, so I did a range after this one. I had to make, when I added this timer in, unless I wanted to rename all the timers, um, I put this T45 in here for, now it's 20 seconds, but it was one second. So then I had to make the T42 start when T45 was done. So I had to rearrange some stuff in here. Um, but all in all, if you started out with the right basic idea from the first one, it make, makes a lot more convenient to edit it and change it. And I put um, comments in here for each one. So eight second timer that turns on the left, re left red and right green if the timer timing bit is one. Resets automatically when T43 done bit is one, right? Because the T4 done bit is a, uh, this contactor is normally closed. So normally it will be powering this timer. But when the T43 done um, finishes and that done bit goes from a zero to a one, it'll open this up and kill power to this. And when you kill the enabled power to this, it resets and then it resets everything. And then when it re because it resets everything, this done bit on the bottom isn't made anymore. So this closes again and provides power to it again. And that all happens in one cycle. Um, so it's like milliseconds that it takes for that to happen. So you're not like losing a second on your timing. Um, and then everything else is pretty simple. Four second timer that turns on the left red and the right yellow if the timer timing bit is one. Um, this is a one second overlap timer for the red lights. Both will be on when the timer timing bit of this timer is one. Um, I changed it to 20, but yeah. And then basically the other ones are the same thing. So yeah, you want both of those extra one second timers added here. So that's the addition on these parallel rungs. So whether it's the yellow, the green, or either of the uh, overlap timers, all those should make the red light come on on both sides. And then the other stuff's the same. Um,